Hey guys, it's me and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Inform Samuel Eto'o, the Pace Monster. Although surprisingly he hasn't gotten an upgrade in his pace from his regular card. But anyway, yeah, this guy's basically the Pace Abuser's dream and other people's dreams too. I suppose you don't have to be a Pace Abuser to use him. So his average price on the Xbox is about 120k and his average price on the PS3 is about 160k. So I'll show you his in-game stats now and you can see some pretty decent ones there. 89 ball control, 86 curve, 88 dribbling, 99 finishing, 80 heading accuracy, 82 long shots, 98 penalties, 91 shot power, 95 of volleys, some crazy physical attributes, 93 acceleration, 91 agility, only 71 balance. I don't understand why so few informs already seem to have good balance. Anyway, 87 jumping, 95 reactions, 95 sprint speed, high medium work rate, 3 star weak but 4 star skill moves, he's right footed, 5 foot 11, so not particularly tall. He also has 82 aggression and 89 attack positioning. So some quite nice stats there for an 89 overall player. There they are pretty good, I will admit, especially the finishing and his physical attributes. So I'll move on to the clips I've been playing in game now. And I'll be honest, I didn't build a team around him. I just subbed him into one of my teams like a noob. I didn't feel like playing him on six chem. I definitely didn't feel like building a Russian league team just to review him. To be honest. So I just subbed him in, and he was pretty amazing. It was obviously a 5-star team, so it wasn't like he was coming up against bronze defenders or anything. This guy's incredibly clinical inside the 18-yard area. He finished so many chances for me. He was averaging 2 or 3 goals a game for me. And that is pretty insane when you consider I was playing him in a 3-5-2. So there was also another striker and a cam, so if they all got 3 goals each, then that would be 9 goals a game. And that is quite a lot. But yeah, apart from his finishing, obviously his pace is excellent. And he seems to have pretty good strength too. I think he can't quite muscle players off the ball, but he seems to be able to just about stay ahead of them and then use his pace to accelerate away. So he doesn't really need a lot of strength, I don't think. And this guy is very quick off the mark. His acceleration and sprint speed both got a one point boost compared to the other form. So I'm not quite sure how his pace stayed the same, but that's EA for you. His dribbling is excellent. Again, a relatively low balance stat, but it doesn't seem to affect him too much apart from when he's turning on the spot. And that doesn't really happen too much since you can pretty much just run in straight lines with him and do a couple of skill moves and you're in on goal. And overall, this guy is just insanely easy to use. He gets himself in great positions thanks to his 89 attack positioning. He actually wins quite a few headers because he has good jumping and he has good positioning, so he tends to get in front of defenders quite a lot. And he scored a couple of decent enough long shots for me, although I wouldn't really... He's also great for putting into hybrids because he can use players such as Cancela Gonzalez, Roberto Carlos, Lucini Troyori, Busafa, and Tardelli, as well as the left mid, Zudzak, I think that's his name. And they're all excellent, obviously, so he's pretty good for putting into hybrid squads. And really, I don't think there's anything bad about this guy at all. The one tiny minor grip I might have would be would be deciding whether he's worth the extra 110k more than the not inform because the not inform is absolutely amazing as well so it's up to you guys to decide but for me as an individual striker if you're not counting the not inform then this guy is completely amazing so I'll move on to the verdict I have to give this guy a 10 out of 10 because not only is, is he amazing for pace abusing he's amazing for pretty much everything else too so Really, there's very, very little I could fault him with, and he definitely deserves a 10 out of 10. One of the best strikers in a game, so hopefully I should be doing another review tomorrow. I think, and I think that may be on a certain informed Bundesliga defender. But anyways, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave it a like, suggest a player for the next review in the comments. And as always, I will talk to you all next time.